I've played a lot of indoor and outdoor cricket, and the two are very similar games. But there are a few key differences with the rules and the tactics. Let's start with the batting. Batting in indoor cricket is fundamentally the same as batting in outdoor cricket, except for one major difference. In outdoor cricket, you can score runs all around the ground, whereas in indoor cricket, you've only got one narrow corridor to score runs in. You get more runs for hitting the back net and the side nets further down the court, and fewer runs for hitting it around here. But at the back of the court, there are fielders in the way and it's a lot more risky to try and get runs down there. So what you'll see in the games coming up is that most batsmen will try and hit the ball into the ground and up around the top of the court where the fielders can't get the ball. One of the main modes of dismissal in indoor cricket is getting run out. Here we have a fielder in the front court at cover who will be trying to get the ball and get it back to the keeper as quickly as possible. As I said before, one of the main ways of avoiding him is trying to hit it over him into the top of the net. Just like outdoor cricket, indoor cricketers have their own distinct style of bowling. But in general, the main plan is to try and tuck the batsman up so that they can't free their arms and play those easy shots up into the top of the court. When you tuck a batsman up, it brings the front court into play to try and create runouts for the fielders at the front. Which brings us on to fielding, which is one of the most important parts of the game. The vast majority of fielding in indoor cricket happens in the front of the court, where the name of the game is to try and get the ball back to the keeper as quickly as possible to effect a run out. So that's indoor cricket in a nutshell. If you haven't tried it, get down to your local action indoor sports and give it a go. It's a great way to sharpen up your outdoor skills during the winter and a great game in its own right.